This is to stop me getting shocks, not stabbed. I'd bitch slap them with their friend's hand. Your skeleton is always wet. I don't think I need to know that, and don't talk about my insides like that. <laughs> choo choo, motherfucker! <laughs> Dead Space franchise has been reanimated from its gross, drippy ruins, and on the drippy flesh horizon, we can see the Burrito Boys. It has. It's John. So we thought it best to play Dead Space 2. It's the Alphabaratic Burrito McClassic. I said McClassic. Take off those first letters. Take off the A. Take off the B. Take off the C. What is it, John? Uh, Lephabaratic Burrito Lassic. Yes, and that was really hard to even look at on the- uh, on That the was hard to say. So today, we're on D, and this is Dead Space 2. Jordan, give me your best description of Dead Space 2. Are you ready for the description of the game, Harrison? I'm so ready. I'll get myself into the Ishimura ready. <laughs> Just crouched in a vent. What? <laughs> Our work gear-wearing hero, Isaac Clarke, awakes in a mental institution. Years after the necromorph outbreak on the pride of the CEC, the USG Ishimura. With his trusty engineering tools, engineering skills, and engineering, engineering, he will travel from city to church to ship to the howling void of the vacuumed abyss itself. Can Isaac make it off the sprawl intact, or like his fellow humans, be left in dead space? Two. Ooh, that was nice. Well done. Thank you. Thanks. So on today, let's. I want to start with the difference between terror and horror because Dead Space Two is very, very different to Dead Space One, as we've mentioned a few times when we've been talking about this game previously. It diverts a lot in how it scares the player because if you remember in Dead Space One, it's a lot more like slow, quiet areas. It's more, a lot more atmosphere building, a lot more drifting through empty areas. Where in this one, it sort of kicks it off right from the start, doesn't it, Jordan? Yeah, pretty much. I feel like the first game really had, like, shooting a dismemberment as part of, like, mm -hmm. a survival tool, but as well as, like, a storytelling mechanic. Yeah. Whereas it here, it's kind of full, like, kill sh <laughs> It's an action game. Go for it, mate. <laughs> you know what I mean? It is. It's a lot more stomping fun. Gross baby. Can't squelchy. say I didn't enjoy it. Yeah, yes, that's squelchy fun. It's, uh... It's more panic inducing. Like, horror is more like dread building. Like, it builds up slowly with quiet and then it gets you in the end. Like, it's like a, what's it called? Like, an ethereal feeling or something floating around you, kind of horror. Like, it's something yeah. behind you that you can't see. Whereas in this, it's more like it throws you into a horrible situation in a tight space that's like overwhelming. So you're just like, oh no, ah, f oh, he's alive, what? Oh, I thought he was dead. And like, I found myself just panicking and running around. And I know that you mentioned about how Isaac feels to play. Yeah, he's like, Isaac's lack of combat fluidity, as I like mm, to call it. Fluidity. Made him feel like, kind of like the everyman in Dead Space 1. Yeah. So I felt like you just kind of been dropped into this horrific situation in this thing where he's just like, I'm here to engineer. Oh God, there are aliens. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. <Yeah. laughs> and then he's, he's there in his boxy like, suit, like trying to move like, ah. <laughs> exactly. He's like, this is to stop me getting shocks, not stabbed. <laughs> so he, he's clearly uneasy and out of, yeah. out of his depth. And that makes you feel that way too. Whereas mm -hmm. like in two, you can tell he's more comfortable. Well, probably not comfortable, not being the word. Yeah. Like smashing ah. alien puss. Um, so <laughs> that aussie, <laughs> aussie. <laughs> but even down to like when he gets in like the the shop and he puts his new mm -hmm. suit on, you you see him like yeah I'm a fucking tough guy and I'm it's ready like to go oh. yeah yeah he's like he's ready for that sh <laughs> and he's like I'm yeah, gonna, I had to kick some alien bussy and when it's he like, okay. <laughs> When he comes out, it, it, does he do that? Like, he goes, and then yeah, the mask he, he like clicks like, on. Oh, yeah, I'm fine. I'm yeah. pumped. Ooh. I'm pumped. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I think. <laughs> he goes to suplex some aliens, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> like, proper, like, drops them back. <laughs> yeah. He, um, he does seem, even in his characterization, that he knows what he's doing. Like, someone tells him to be careful, and he's like, don't worry, I've done this before. But yeah. I, I like the voice acting in this one, because uh, he didn't speak at all in the first one, did he? Uh, no, I don't think he did, thinking about it. He was just like, ah, 
when he was like stamping. Ah! Um, like stomping whereas stomping. It, in this one, he's like, mother f if you do it like loads and loads, which I really like. You have to like click stamp about 15 times to get him to do it. It's like a hidden voice line. Um, That's but it. I, I, I like the movement from silent protagonist to this. And I think that. I think that might be where the distinction lies of why people feel more connected to the first one because you feel like you embody the character a bit more. Whereas in yeah. this one, it's more like you're watching a movie, you're watching like a horror action film. 100%, I agree with you entirely. Now, did you did you feel like the pacing on the first one was a bit better than the second one? Like, did you feel scared towards the end as w in the first one opposed to like the end of the second one? Yeah, I think the first one, its pacing is a lot more I don't want to say thought out because obviously this the pacing in all games is usually thought out. I say usually because maybe really not all hope. of them. <laughs> yeah, you'd <laughs> hope so. Just throw it at the wall and see what's gooey and sticks. Um, <laughs> yeah, where, where in this one I think the pacing just gets louder. Yeah. It, because at the end there's like so much noise and whirring as the marker like shoots, you know, doing what it's doing. Spoilers for at the end, obviously, if you haven't played it. But there is a moment of breath in this one, and it's when you go back to the Ishimura, which I know we're going to touch on in a minute, so I won't touch it. There is like a sudden drop no, into dare touch it. horror. I won't touch it. It's sticky and gross. <laughs> um, yeah, it's like a moment of sheer horror, and then it goes back to like loads of action again. Yeah, it's really weird, isn't it? Like mm -hmm. the way they just kind of paced it to be for <laughs> bull crazy action. Yeah, and nothing for a bit. And then back to like horrific. Yeah, yeah. Kill everything as quick as you can. Just like mow through it and get to the end as quickly as possible. Get to your uh, eyeball machine. Yay! My favorite. I love <laughs> this game is quite eyeballs. obsessed with eyeballs. Yeah, this game is way more obsessed with eyes than the first one. Yeah, yeah. D is it yeah. something to do? Yeah, I I don't really like eye stuff. Like it doesn't bother me too much. Really? I could definitely do without it. You know what I mean? Yeah. No one um, really wants a needle in the eye. It's like an eye for an eye thing, maybe. Ooh, okay. That's mm, literally just come to me. I don't know if there's any relevance to that. I mean, but... there's a church in this. Eye for an eye. The Bible. <laughs> <laughs> the Frio boys are back, this. baby. There's a... <laughs> there's a God, maybe. Pointy mm. God. Okay. <laughs> Carry on, <laughs> please. So, you, you, what do you think of the pacing? I know you, you didn't enjoy it as much. I feel like Dead Space Two is a little too long. If I'm honest with mm -hmm. you, like towards the end of it, it I, playing on the harder difficulty, I was just more frustrated than anything. Mm -hmm. Like I was so focused on getting through the section, opposed to like seeing the section, that yeah. I just kind of wanted it to be over. Like not not really okay. much of it was like a legitimate challenge. It was just like a, a shooting range, and it was like, right, I, I need to get through here, so I just <laughs> run, just use all my stasis. It, my last thing I did within the game was upgrade my stasis to have more stasis. Stay high. Yeah. Stay high. <laughs> to be more stasis. Yeah. Yeah. And then I just stasis everything and <laughs> run past. Like, there's no point in me doing this. Like, whatever. Really? I, yeah. I do feel like it's a lot more throw everything at you, this one. Like, it's, it's a lot yeah. more constant fighting. And. It's not a it's not a bad thing. Like I I think maybe until you get bored of it. But the the combat is fun. Like I do enjoy the shooting in it. The third person shooting is really really good, and that's something I do enjoy. Uh, using the line gun will never not be fun unless it. I had it jamming on me a lot, which we'll get to when we talk about weapons in like part three of this, I guess. Um, but I, I I enjoy the combat. I really do. Um, was there any part early on that you found better or worse this time around? The start of the game definitely has more horror to it. And then as yep. it progresses, it just gets less and less to the point of it just goes from like, you've got horror on the one side and you've got action on the other. It just yeah. feels like it's slowly, slowly, slowly. And then all of a sudden crashes together. And then you, you're at the climax pretty much. Um, so it's, it's not terrible by any means. Like the bit at the yeah. start when you're in the church, that's really tense. Because you get a few little aliens knocking about and then you meet the stalkers and that's like that's really tense because yes. of these enemies that you do not really recognize from anything and they're really no. creepy and do you want to explain very... what the what they are so yes i want to talk about the stalkers because they are a combination of a raptor and a steam train 
Yes. Like the noise they make choo -choo, is literally the raptor noise. Yeah, it's like, and then they run towards you. So. Cold train, baby. Of... <laughs> Stalkers on the rails. Woo! <laughs> yeah, they. Um, you find them first in that big circular room and you get locked in at either end and there's pillars and you can kind of hear this skittering sound and things moving around you. And they, you, you put there a cohort, possibly a gaggle like geese, yes. <laughs> they, uh, they peer over the tops of things and look round to distract you. And I'm pretty sure they're programmed to work their way around you, to surround you, aren't they? So I while you're looking so, at yeah. one, the other one leaps out and charges at you and will just tackle you. And they they, they knock the sh <laughs> out of you as well. They do. It's not just that they hit you. They just they like just plow into you. Yeah. Like a he's got a foot like a traction engine. Yes. <laughs> Smacks you and you go flying. You do. Yeah. It's really cool. Like I do like them as an enemy. Like they're a very original. Them they're almost like reptilian or bird-like they've got like yeah. long faces and big claws they're really uh, tall long arms as well they, yeah they're they like, run they, all fours when when they stand up because they they mm. run a bit like sonic where they put yeah. their arms back and they could run at you because they've got like a, a snow plow like beak yeah that's right and then yeah. when they're when they're like stalking you they'll like peer over like they'll lift their head and it's so mm -hmm. <laughs> eerie and creepy like, oh, oh. no it's like it's weird like yeah. oh yeah. it's horrible yeah. And then they're really grim. You stasis them. You're like, ha ha! And you Bitch! Yeah. That was what I was doing. I'd wait for them to run out, stasis them, chop the legs, chop their arms off, and then I'd grab one of their hands. And yeah. when their their friend ran at me, I'd oh, bitch slap fuck. them with their friend's hand <laughs> just to like hit it back. I was like, yes, take it. Um, so what about breaking the fourth wall? Because it's like there's moments that I want to touch on here, and this is the part about the Ishimura that we mentioned before. This might be my favorite part of Dead Space 2, which probably doesn't say the best things for Dead Space 2, considering my favorite bit is Dead Space 1 redone again. Yeah. Um, if you know what I mean. But to be f returning to the Ishimura, which is a planet-cracking vessel for any viewers who haven't seen it or need a bit of cluing in or remembering, it was pure dread going back to it. And I, I remember the first time I played this, and I had to write this down so I didn't, didn't forget it. I remember the scene when you walk up to the window and you see that the Ishimura is docked onto the sprawl, which is the environment that we're in in this one, which is like a, a space station. And you see it connected. And I remember thinking, oh, please don't say I'm going back in there. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to be back. I don't want to go through that. I just, I just don't want to do it. And it has this, almost, it's almost like an umbilical, like a, like a ferry connected to it like a track or a gondola yeah. and you stand in it and the amount of time it takes you to slowly drift over to it and you're moving away from the distance behind you of the sprawl is so masterfully done. The pacing there is really, really good. Don't you think? I, I really do. It's It was nice seeing the Ishimura being back. Like I completely mm. forgot you went back to the Ishimura. I've not played this since like the 360. Wow, nice. So... Going through it again was really nice. Uh, I think yeah. if nice. I'd not played it before, it'd be much more impactful. But I, yeah, for some reason, I didn't remember it happened. I was like, ooh, and then I, I think it clicked, and I was like, oh, yeah. Uh, eh. Ah, yeah. no, it's good. It's good. It I think is it's good. It is good. Yeah. it is good when you go. It, it's just weird seeing the place, like, quiet. Yeah, but that was what I liked. The, it's like yeah. the thematic reason. It's like the dead heart of the necromorphs like where everything's spanned out from yeah and into the sprawl and it's like the empty hive at the middle and i think that's really cool it is pretty it is pretty good it's just like a cool thing of walking in and you recognize everything even yeah. though it's been like boarded over so there's a line from nicole where she mentions that isaac must be scared despite all of the plastic sheets covering the skeleton of the ship yeah. and i really like that her or at least part of Isaac's like psyche is telling us that he hates where he is and that yes, he would rather yeah. be anywhere else but he's like plowing through it to save people yeah and yeah. he's willing to put himself through that kind of pain and that's he I is. thought it was really nice well not nice yeah you no, know. it shows like the characterization of Isaac though that he's willing to do that for the for people he's just met to save them and I feel like that's Nicole also speaking to the player like I I played it with in-ear headphones 
So when it's like, you can hear it all crackling around you. Yeah. And Nicole's saying, I bet you hate being back here. And I was like, yes, Nicole, I f do. No, I don't want to be in here. No, <laughs> you, you dead bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can tell you're a fucking doctor because you clearly know things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I, I actually like all the plastic everywhere, like boarded up and the biohazard yeah. symbols and like there's mops because all the blood's been cleaned up. And it's so quiet. Can you imagine being that guy on like cleaning crew? Like, yeah, well, you do find the, the guy's memory thing, memory bank, don't you? Well, yeah, but can you imagine being that guy on like the first day? Just like, no. oh, cleaning up a ship. Oh, I can't be. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. <laughs> Just for any any viewers, again, who hasn't, haven't seen this, uh, see on screen now the Ishimura basically looks like a rib cage. Like, it's made to look like a skeleton, isn't it? Like, it's like yeah. an upturned rib cage with like protruding like pelvis i guess it almost looks like a dead body like a carcass yeah and uh yeah i i love the build-up i love the whole build-up going through it because nothing happens like the whole walk through the ishimura till you get to a certain point it's just silence and sounds clanging in the walls i was really expecting i was really expecting the stasis door to come back you know, remember in the first one the door that's like yeah. just slamming and you got a stasis yeah. it because that unit's still there so yeah, i was like I was like, oh, is it going to come back and I've got to do that again? Because I was like, yeah. oh, that would be cool. And then, no, you just get, like, swarmed. I was like, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Yeah, that big, long room in the middle. Yeah, you yeah. get loads of the, the bigger enemies coming after you. I, I Actually, the slamming door would have been really cool. To be, like, in the silent Ishimura, really creepy, and you can just hear bang, bang, bang. Just no one's coming, fixed it yet. Just coming from one place, just echoing, reverberating, and you have to stop it to get through. Yeah. That, w that actually would have been quite cool. But anyway... I, I like it how it is, and when you get to that point, and you have to sort of fight your way through it. Uh, is there any other moments in there that felt fourth wall breaking to you? Uh, not really. Well, I, there's one bit at the start where the doctor says, Isaac, we're all going to burn for what we did to you. Oh, yeah. And yeah. I was like, is that calling back to the amount of times I had Isaac killed in the first game? <laughs> like, Maybe. Uh, it I wonder what been. these animations are going to be like. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> That was way worse than I thought gonna it was going to be. Gonna be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then you, ooh, next. Yeah, there are some great ooh, ones. Ooh, a new enemy type. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there are some great ones. Maybe we'll talk about that in the, in the next part. So this will be the end of part one. Ah. Thank you for watching. Keep watching for part two. Give you a scared. Ha. Ah. <laughs> Look here for part two.